Hello guys, for those who don't know, we've recently released a new template for Core Framework called Agency. So as you can see, it's um, basically a one page template made up of sections. And this is available for Bricks Builder, Oxygen Builder, also as a static HTML file. And we are also offering you the Figma file with it as well. So this video is just gonna be a walkthrough on how to install it and use it on Bricks, Oxygen. And I'll also show you the HTML version as well as the Figma file as well. But first, let's start with Bricks Builder. So here I have a completely fresh install. I've installed absolutely nothing on here. There's no plugins, just the default ones that come with WordPress. And like I said, we will be starting with Bricks Builder. So you can see how I'm gonna do this from start to finish. So if you would like to follow along, you're more than welcome to do so. So what I'm gonna do first is install Bricks. And because Bricks is a theme, I'll need to add it through here. All right, so I've just gone ahead and added Bricks as well as the Bricks child theme. And I've set the child theme to be active. I've also just made sure that they are up to date. And if I go into Bricks settings, basically I've not played with anything else. So from here, what I'm going to do is go to templates and I'm going to go ahead and add the agency template using the credentials that you can find on your dashboard of Core Framework after you purchase the relevant product. So I'm gonna click on save settings here and that's that. The next thing we need to do is add Core Framework itself. So let's go to plugins and add new plugin and we can search for Core Framework here. All right, so here we should see that the uh, Core Framework is added version 1.6.4. So let's go to Core Framework. And if this is your first time, you'll be presented with the onboarding. So the agency template um, it basically uses BEM classes and we use variables only. So you can go ahead and click on variables only. And in this step, you'll notice that there's a check mark for Bricks because it's detecting that this is installed. So if you're using the Bricks integration add-on, which we highly recommend, please go ahead and enter your license key for the Bricks integration add-on here. Continue. I'm gonna leave this as default for now, finish and save changes. Now, if you've purchased the agency template, you will also be given a .core file, which is basically a core framework file. So we'll go ahead and add this to core framework now. So let's go to manage project. And then here we can import our core file. Just click on this area here and locate the file. All right, so you can see that we have different brand colors and things like that. So I'm just gonna click overwrite all and then don't forget to hit save changes. And now if I go back to my colors, you can see everything has changed. All right, and that's basically it. So now what I'm gonna do is, uh, because this is my first time installing this WordPress site here, I'm just gonna make sure that everything is set up correctly. So let's go to reading. I'm gonna choose a page for my homepage. Let's just do sample page for now, save. And then let's go to pages. And I'm just gonna change this to homepage here. Cool, all right, so let's go ahead and edit this with bricks. All right, so because we added the templates earlier in the brick settings, we should be able to now go to templates and choose agency. And here you can see the different sections that we offer. So let's go ahead and import the hero one. And before I do that, I just wanna make sure that import images is checked here. And as you can see, we have the hero section for agency. Now we can toggle on the light and dark mode and you can see that's changing automatically. Let's import another section here. I'm gonna do the logo banner next. And you can see here we have some SVG elements. So we'll just need to sign those signatures. Now in the builder, you'll notice that the logos don't continue to load, but on the front end, these will work correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and create a full page here. We'll finish with the CTA here. And that's it. So this is gonna be our homepage. So what we have here is the hero section, logo banners, our testimonials. And just don't forget to sign all of the short codes here as well, once you've imported everything. Okay, so there's our testimonials. We have a services section here. Uh, this could also be services. This could be processes, pricing, and a CTA. So just like that, we've built a homepage from our template. 
Now, before I go to the front end, what I'm going to do is set up our header and footer templates as well. So we'll go to bricks and templates, add a new template. This one will be our header. And don't forget to change the template type over here to header as well and edit with bricks. And while that's loading, we'll go ahead and add a footer as well. Footer, publish that one. We'll open up our header, go to templates and our header is here. Now you'll notice that there's no nav menu found and that's because it's looking for a WordPress menu. We will go ahead and add that in a second and then we'll also edit our footer with bricks as well. So let's go and add that. And we'll probably get the same thing here as well because we don't have a nav menu yet. And save that. Okay, so let's go back and we'll go to appearance, menus. Let's create our main menu. And for this, I'm just going to use some custom links. All right, so for now, I've just added these custom links with anchors. So we've got homepage, testimonials, process, services, pricing, uh, save menu. And for this URL, sorry, we can just do a forward slash uh, for the home button there. So now if I check this on the front end, let's have a look. So now you can see our menu working up here. Now what you'll need to do is go back into the home page and just give relevant IDs to each section. So for example, we'll go to pages, all pages, home, edit with bricks. So the first link testimonials will go to the testimonials section here. And like I said, we'll need to edit the ID and we'll just call this testimonials. And we'll need to go through each section and do this. So now you can see I'm clicking the links and being taken to the correct sections. Now I've just noticed one thing here when I go to the top, uh, actually the body tag is still set to a light color and it's having this effect on our blur. So let's go ahead and fix that. We can do that in core framework itself. So let's go to core framework. And in colors, I'm just going to go and add a selector group. And here I'm just going to call this uh, body change. So instead of using a class, I'm just going to target the whole body. And we'll do background color. And here we'll target the BG body. We'll save that and that should fix our problem. Yeah, so now when I'm scrolling back up, we have the same color throughout. So that's it guys, that's basically your setup for Bricks and we've created this uh, web page in just a few minutes. So next, let's go ahead and take a look at Oxygen. All right guys, so once again, I have a completely fresh install. I'm just gonna go and check this, uh, make sure everything's correct. So reading, yeah, I'm just gonna choose um, the sample page here. This will be used as our homepage. All right, everything's looking good. So what we'll do first in this case, we will go ahead and install Oxygen Builder. When you're presented with this screen, please go ahead and click on blank install. And then what we'll do is we'll go to settings. First, let's enter our license key for Oxygen Builder. Okay, and after that, I'm gonna to go to library. And what I like to do here is personally, I would want to disable the default design sets, but I do want to enable third party and uh, save changes. So now we can add a design set and we'll click on this button. And once again, if you've bought our agency template for Oxygen Builder, then you will have this key available on your dashboard. So please go ahead and enter your design set key. Once that's added, you'll notice that we have here CF Oxygen Template Agency. That's exactly Exactly what we want. Next, once again, we will need to add Core Framework itself. So let's do that now. So add new plugin and you can search here for Core Framework. Activate. And once again, let's go to Core Framework. We need the variables only. Continue. And now I'm going to enter my license key for the Oxygen Integration add-on. Continue. I'll leave this as default for now. We can always change those later and save changes. Once again, I need to add the agency core file. So let's go to manage project and we'll import the .core file for agency. Don't forget to click overwrite all and then finally save changes. So now we have our core framework set up for the agency template. In this case, first let's go ahead and create our menu. So we'll go to appearance and menus. Let's create our main menu. I'm just going to go ahead and create some custom links here.
don't forget to save the menu and now what we can do so before I continue I'm just gonna go ahead and regenerate this stuff here for oxygen all right so now we should be good to go so first let's go ahead and add our header and footer so templates add new template in fact in oxygen we used to call this main and we'll go to other so it appears I cannot click on these and I think this is due to the recent WordPress update, if I'm not mistaken. So just for a quick workaround. So let's just inspect this and we will look for accordion content. And then here we'll just change this to block just so that we can see everything that's happening here. And then what we'll need to do is in other, we need to catch all because this is our main template and just update. All right, so that should be attached to uh, catch all now. So anyway, let's go ahead and edit with oxygen here. And let's go to add element, go to the bottom here, library, design sets, and you should see our agency sections. Click on this sections and elements. And now you can see our sections are all available here. So because this is our main template, let's go ahead and add first our header. We'll also add our footer. And these need to be separated. And we'll also need to add an inner content as well. So let's do that through here. We'll go back basics, inner content, and this will go in the middle. All right, so that's that. We'll save this one for now. Now let's go and edit a page. So sample page, I'm just gonna rename this to home, update, and let's edit with oxygen. Now in here, we can go ahead and add the sections once again. So let's go here, library, design sets, agency sections so first inside of heroes and titles we'll add the hero section next we'll add our testimonials in social proof uh, before that sorry we do need our logo banner i mean the order is actually completely up to you but um, our example page is in this order like this next is our process next is our services Then we have pricing and CTA. And CTA is here, call to action. We'll add that one as well. Put that to the bottom and save. So now if we check the front end, we can see everything is working quite nice. Now, just like we did with the bricks version, we will need to go ahead and add IDs to each section so that the links work. So let's do that now. So let's go to testimonials. So let's just rename these IDs here. Cool. Now I did just want to mention one thing here. I should have mentioned this for the bricks version as well, but the reason we've opted to add them as sections instead of just a one page uh, is because later down the line, we can always add new sections for each category, for example. So right now you'll notice that our classes, for example, pricing, they're suffixed with one. And that's because we had the idea, if we do decide to add more sections for each category later down the line, we can just suffix them with two and three, uh, etc. So that's the reason we've opted to make them different sections like this. So later down the line in the future, uh, you could possibly mix and match and build up different styles of homepages. So hopefully that makes sense. So there you have it. That's the oxygen version of agency. So what we have next is a static HTML version. Now this is not available uh, just yet, but it will be available very soon. So whenever you're watching this video, uh, if it's near the release of agency, it might not be quite available yet, but it will be ready to download soon from our website. So let me go ahead and show you how we can use that. So for this, I'm gonna use uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, in this case, I'm using Cursor, but it's based on Visual Studio Code. So once you've downloaded the HTML zip file, uh, just click on open folder and navigate to your zip. Make sure you extract it first and then open up the parent folder. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and double click this zip file to extract it. And that's gonna give me the folder here. And then click on this and open. If I just bring this down a little bit so you can see. So I have my folder structure here, my index HTML. Now this is all custom coded. Um, we worked quite hard on this. We've added comments. We've also done a full export of our core framework CSS. 
uh, which is all available here. Now, let's say you want to change some of these colors. What you could do is go to the web app version of Core Framework, import the core file, change whatever you need to change, and then just re-export the CSS and paste it in here. Uh, so yeah, so what I'm gonna do is just show you the live version of this. So here it is. We've also added the theme toggle. So this all works out of the box. If I refresh the page, it remembers the state. We've added splide. As you can see, this is all working. Uh, but yeah, basically it's the same as the bricks and oxygen versions, but this is just static. So it's gonna be loading lightning fast. Switch back to dark mode here, as you can see. And the links uh, will have a smooth scrolling effect as well. And finally is our Figma file for agency. If you've purchased this and downloaded this one, uh, this is what you will see. So you'll see the full page mockup here, uh, as well as the different sections along with it. Now, if we do decide to add different sections later on, they will be added to the Figma file automatically. Uh, but yes, as you can see, this is our mockup. Now, if you do decide to use the Figma integration, what you can do is connect to your web app version or you can start a new project, but I'm gonna to connect to one of my WordPress versions. I'm gonna use the Bricks version in this case, connect to it just to get our core framework core file, as you can see. Now, for example, if I go ahead and change this to an orange color and save, you can see all of our primary colors have changed accordingly. Now this gradient here uses primarily our secondary color. So I'll just show you that if I change this to example, a pink color, you can see that's updated here as well. Now, if I want to revert my changes, what I can do is simply go to Manage Project, scroll down here and just re-import the core file for agency. Overwrite all and save. And that's reverted all my changes back to the original states. So guys, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions um, on installing or anything about agency in particular, please just drop us a message and I'll be happy to answer any concerns or a member of our team will get back to your queries. But there you have it. And thank you very much for watching and enjoy building your websites. Thank you very much.